right. Well, folks, there we go. A uh, morning at the creek. Uh, a few hours of fishing, but hey, what a lot of fun, huh? Heck yeah. Day one. All right, well, there we have it. Wraps up day one. Rob Rice with a real nice uh, sow. All right, that about wraps it up right there. Welcome to A Sportsman's Life. We're so glad you tuned in to join us for another exciting real world outdoor adventure right here on A Sportsman's Life. have made it here. My nephews, Rick and Rob. You guys ready to do a little creek fishing? Yes, sir. A little yes. hog hunting? Super excited. Yeah. You were here this time last year and was that not a blast it or what? It was a blast. We hammered them. Yeah. So hopefully we can repeat that again this year and Absolutely. have another nice fish fry. Oh, I can't wait. It's all about the fish fry. <laughs> Boys are gearing up. Gonna head down to the creek. We've had a couple three inches of rain. It rained all night, yeah. basically. And uh, now it's time to go see if there's anything in the creek. I bet that water is moving for sure. Yeah. So yeah, all right, let's load up the buggy and let's uh, trek down there and see what we can come up with. I let him borrow my rod. I run up to get him a new one. My it, my rod's up. lucky, I guess, right? Well, First two uh, fish caught of the day with this rod. That nice. Yep. Fish. A male sand bass right there. Beautiful fish. What a beautiful day at the creek. Look how high that water is, Rob. They say when the red buds bloom, the white bass or sand bass will come up the creek. And of course, we are fishing the creek once again. Welcome back, folks, to a sportsman's life. I told you we'd be back at this creek. This is just a fun place to to be and you know getting out here and I've got my two nephews with me and and their friend Aaron Rick and Rob and we are having a, a good time so two in the bucket oh wait a minute crappie so the crappies are moving in too there we go look at that nice nice Rick nice giant, job but... yeah it's interesting we uh are fishing here down on the creek and uh, all of a sudden the uh, water flow started going instead of down the creek toward the lake it's going up the creek looks like Rick's got one on down there hold on here it's like it kind of slowed down for a minute but then all of a sudden it's a bass I think we've got action Is that a crappie yeah. Rick a large mouth Large we were just talking about catching a large mouth. I said, yeah, you'll catch them up in here. The boys asked me that a few minutes ago. Bring them over here, Rickster. Nice Look at that. That's a nice fish. Yeah. That's probably two, a little over two pounds. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Well, we can add them to the fish fry if I you think want. We'll, we'll put this one back. I'm gonna put them back. Okay. So we'll have. I'm good with that too. We we probably will. Yeah. So. Let's do that. We should put them in the pond. Is what we should do. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Nah, throw them back in there, bud. That's cool. Nice catch, though. Nice catch. Sweet. All right. Is that your second fish? You're yep. tied with the leader. Yeah. These two right here lead the pack. And there's your dad dinging me, <laughs> wanting an update. Right. Is this fun or what? This is awesome. Wow. Nothing better than creek fishing, folks. Get out there and have some fun. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I didn't get back after that. I'm busy fishing and these boys are on their phone. <laughs> ah, bring them on over. Let's take a look at that bad boy. Since you're finally on the board. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you're finally on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a nice a fish, dude. Yeah. Beautiful. I uh, cast it into the brush on the bank and I popped her out of there. And as soon as it hit the water, he smoked it. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Fun stuff, isn't it? Another one for the bucket. Yes, sir. Well, if one color doesn't work, then uh, we're going to give another another color a try. Don't be afraid to do that. Sometimes the clarity of the water can uh, dictate uh, how the fish see and uh, the colors in the color spectrum. So try different colors. See what works. So I'm going to try this and let's see if something happens. All right. On the board again. Aaron, he's coming back. He's tied me with two fish. Rick and Rob, three fish. What you got? Sandy. Another Sandy. Beautiful. This stuff is fun, you know? Folks, if you've never got out in a creek with your friends or your family, you're missing the boat. Another Sandy. Yep, yeah, number two. Uh -huh. Look at you. Nice, nice job. All right, Aaron. I'm gonna go get another one. Is okay. this fun or what? Oh heck yeah! Hate doing this yeah. stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Look All at right. that. Beautiful. All right, another one of four of the buckets. I didn't have a chance to get the camera on. That happened so fast. Nice fish, dude. On a roll. Rob is on a roll. All right, that's number four for you. That's a hefty little. That's that's a female. Look at that. Look at that. Sack. Sure. Look at her belly. That is a nice fish, dude. That's what you come to uh, Lake Fork and fish the creeks in the, you know, springtime. Can't beat it. You can't beat it, really. We're gonna have a heck of a fish fry. Oh yeah. All right. Careful. Oh yeah. Wow. Look at that. Thought we were gonna catch. Sand, but well, we ain't been catching sand bass, but that's largey. Man, we've been doing, we've been hammering the, mm -hmm. or you guys have been hammering the largemouth. Well, I caught a little one. Man, look at that. Beautiful fish. Look at the color on his tail. Isn't yep. that interesting? Now that is closing in on four pounds, I would think. Yeah. Right? Wow. Nice fish. Isn't this fun? It is a blast. He hammered it hard. Look, he's deep in his mouth. Nice job. Picture of that one, Dad? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, let's get a picture, send to your dad. All right, folks, there you go. Another nice sand bass. This is what come to the creek to catch, and largemouth, and crappie, and everything else. So we're having a great time. Another one to add to the bucket. We're going to have a great fish Friday night. Stay tuned. Well, what's interesting is we've uh, had the creek change directions <clears throat> several times throughout the morning. We uh, went in and had some lunch, and uh, we're back out. It's one o'clock in the afternoon, and the sun is finally out. So hopefully we'll get on some fish. But it's just interesting how the creek, one minute it's flowing inward, the next it's flowing out, and it's flowing out as we speak. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the fishing, but we're about to find out. I guess Aaron's got one on down yonder. All right, you tied me finally. What you get? A sandy? Beautiful. A dandy sandy. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice one, dude. That's a tanker. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah. All right, I'll take them from you, and we'll uh, All right, get you I'll back out there fishing. Looking for four. There you go. A sand bass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. That's a nice one. You know, like I said, we'll be eating good tonight. Look at that. Nice job. Good job. What do you think of this creek fishing, man? It is awesome. It truly is, isn't it? It is. It's something fun to do. Heck, they haven't even hog hunted yet. You got more fun coming. 
Let's hope you all kill some hogs tonight. All right, hungry. I'll come get that dude from you. Back to fishing. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, buddy. Bring that over here. <laughs> dude, that's a nice fish. Yeah. That's a, like the one I caught the other night. Man, on this ultralight stuff, like, I mean. That's, that's a really that's nice fun. fish. Yeah, <laughs> that one goes a few pounds for sure. Well, I'm gonna see if I can make it three for three here. I'll, dude, I'll hand them off to awesome. you. that's awesome. Congrats, All right. man. Yeah. All right, let's go get back and catch some more. Yeah. Well, folks, there we go. A uh, morning at the creek. Uh, well, a few hours of fishing, but hey, what a lot of fun, huh? Heck yeah. yeah. Day Gosh. one. That if awesome. that isn't a good fish fry, I don't know what is, but uh, lots of largemouth we let go, and then, uh, I don't know, what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, a dozen. We got a dozen fish for, for a fish fry, so Heck what yeah. do you think? So let's Good take time. them up. I'll start filleting them up. You guys get geared up. They're going to do a hog hunt tonight, folks, so stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, maybe they'll get a hog on the ground, huh? Heck yeah. It's it's let's do it. Yeah. All right. Right on. There you go. Brought to you by Dallas Safari Club, conservation, education, and hunter advocacy. Hornaday, accurate, deadly, dependable. Taurus Firearms, maker of the Raging Hunter. We're gonna be cooking our fish right down here by the creek, so. Lots of good fillets, look at that, that's awesome. Doesn't get any fresher than that right there. Right out of the creek, into the fry pan. All right, get some potatoes going here first. Right from the creek, huh boys? Beauty. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh boy. Yep. A fish oh, fry at the creek. Find him? Did you? You didn't go look, did you? I don't know. No. I Tell me the story. What happened? Um, I probably ten uh, hogs and probably thirty piglets came in. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh. And uh, let them feed for a little bit and uh, pick one out and let her fly. Picked a good one out, eh? No. Yep, so yeah, cool. So, so where did you hit and uh, which way did it go? What do you? What's? 
Um, but he uh, went up to the left there and stood there for, I don't know, a good two minutes. Yeah. And then uh, all the hogs, they just kind of scattered and then. They come back? They, well, they didn't, they, uh, they were just hanging out and then when they finally, you know, decided I'll take off, that one kind of went with it, but I don't think he, uh, huh. I guess I saw him, the blood come out of him. Uh, you think we should uh, wait a bit? Yeah, I think I'll, we should do it. Yeah, I, I do too. Uh, I didn't bring heavy lights or anything like that in my boots, so maybe yeah. we'll go back. Let's let's do that. Let's go back. Let's regroup, and then we'll come back and That's look. Got yeah. the the Gramps arrow. Look at that for uh, the Gramp who passed go. away. Yep. This one's for Gramps. We hope we get this dude. Way to go, buddy! All right, Mr. Uh, Dob, Mr. Hunter. I told you this might be a good blind, didn't I? Did. <laughs> I know. I just like this spot back here. They just, they seem to come through yep. here. All right, let's head back and we'll come back and look in a bit. All right, folks, here we are. We uh, followed a blood trail for probably 45 yards, guys. Not very far. Maybe, right maybe, really maybe 45 far. yards, but. Smoked them. What do you think, buddy? Oh. What do you have to say? Thanks for having me. It was a blast. <laughs> This Fun. is day one. We caught a bunch of fish in the creek, and we got a hog down. Can't yeah, beat it. How much fun is this, boys? Pretty it's awesome. Best, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It's so awesome. not like you're hauling a small hog either. That's a pretty good size one. All right, we got a fence here, so we got to get you across the fence, and then we're good. Woo! good yep all right well there we have it wraps up day one rob rice with a real nice uh sow nice sow and uh that's gonna be some fine eating was that fun or what blast <laughs> ready to uh, sit again tomorrow yeah it's been a few years since you shot one you were due yes i was nice job all right well i guess we load them up on the buggy we get them back to camp and we got some uh meat to cut up so all right day one it's a wrap here at the buck and bass ranch oh dude i got a tank oh yeah Oh yeah, baby. That's a tank. Oh, belt. Oh, come on. Don't no, stay on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. That's a monster. That is a Texas largemouth, baby. Oh, that is a five pound largemouth all day. Look at that beast. <laughs> well, folks, we, uh, Finished fishing the creek, and then the boys all went out and uh, got in the blinds, and the Mirza, uh, my neighbor and friend, has joined us, and of course, uh, we caught uh, a few fish today, not yeah. too many, Plenty of cat but fish. Uh, the boys went out hog hunting. Mirza just walked in here, and he's like breathing heavy, so tell me what's the deal. So the the blind uh, turned out to be a good choice. Uh, okay. So got up into the tree ladder stand at a, on, on the new side of the property, yeah. and just was very patient, saw a lot of deer, surprisingly, okay. uh, in the field right behind me. Yeah. And uh, you, you start hearing just leaves rustling and probably 30 or so um, hogs, a lot of piglets, uh, and about six nice sized hogs showed up yeah. and had an opportunity to take one broadside. There you go, put an arrow in Your first, this is, would be his first, uh, kill with a bow so congratulations yes. yes i'm excited to see that too all right well let's give it a, let's give it a little time yeah and then we'll go we'll go take a look so we'll go take a look. all right all right folks we are out here live bringing it to you mirza shot a hog tonight and uh yeah oh yeah i see your your arrow oh my gosh look at the blood spray yeah. holy smokes Good look break. at that Oh my goodness. Take a look at this. Listen to the owls. Isn't that funny? 
Oh, that's serious blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This Whoa. this guy didn't go far. Yeah, this like, guy didn't go far at all. That is. Oh my God! It keeps going. <laughs> well, let's just follow that blood trail because it's. I mean, there's so much blood here. It's ridiculous. Okay, well, I don't see any going that way. So he must have stopped here and turned yeah, and went yeah, this way. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He turned and went this way. Holy cow, look at the blood. Goodness sakes. Yeah, well, we went about another five yards, and yeah, there it is. I don't think he's alive. I think you got him wow. pretty good, bud. Nice, Mirza. Look at that. Got a hog down. Big old sow. She'll be a good eater. Whoo, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Looks like a good shot, too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Let's get here. Get her out of here. Well, buddy, <laughs> what do you say? This is your first hog, your first animal with a bow. It is. It but, is. But uh, what's going through your head? What are you thinking? Uh, it's going to be a, a lot of things to replay because it all happened so fast. Uh, I was fortunately able to compose myself and uh, and drill it. Uh, I mean, uh, props to G5. That arrow did its job. Yeah, you put a perfect shot on it. Congratulations. Thank That's you. nice. Lots of uh, good okay. pork so for the smoker so right there, I'll tell you. Woo. Yeah, we're looking at some back straps and some hams. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're about to cut it up, so... Congratulations. All right, I'm going to get a couple pictures, so stay right there. A Sportsman's Life is also brought to you by Mossberg, American Built, American Strong, The Wyo Steakhouse, Catch and Release Apparel, AGM Global Vision, your go to for thermal hunting scopes and spotters, Pyramid Air, your one stop shop for everything air guns and Vineyard Max Deer Products. Hello sports fans, it's Bill the Old Man at Striker Express with your fishing tip this week on a sportsman's life. Okay, this is not a ditto deja vu. We're going to talk road runners. People want to know how I do it. Look at this pretty one. That is Fire Tiger with, see that nine inch tail? That is a half ounce road runner. That's all we use anymore. But I want to show you half ounce, three quarter and one ounce man half ounce is all you need with that nine inch tail and here is the tail everybody wants to know what kind it's the culprit this is a ten inch tail so i just cut a head off of it and made it nine inches that's what i prefer these i showed you last time we filmed were six inches okay where this is what everybody wants to know that's what this tip is about main lake points humps ditches structure 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 you'll mark on these new fancy depth finder side imaging two or three fish hanging on that stuff. Those are the big stripers. Those are the rogue fish. They don't run with schools. We're talking about 15 to 20 pound fish. Maybe even better. We had a 24 two weeks ago. Uh, so, structure, eight to 12 foot of water. Use the half ounce. We're gonna be fishing slow. I tell customers for years, the minute that jig hits that water, just start reeling because it's, you're fishing shallow. It's gonna scope down and it's gonna get to where you want it. Uh, if you think you're reeling too fast, slow down, but just keep a steady retrieve. When in doubt, kaboom. I mean, these big fish, this time of year, they're just tapping it, sucking it in. You see your rod tip do that. Time elapsed hook set, you miss him, he went, poo, it hit the back of his throat and it was over. So concentrate. This is important. Concentrate. Main lake points, humps, ditches, structure, 8 to 12 foot of water. That's what everybody wanted to know. And there it is. That's my fire tiger with the nine inch worm. And that is not the Blakemore, that is the Wolf Jig. Give credit where credit is due. They're the people that made the Roadrunner in the very beginning for Blakemore. Go to Wolf Custom Jigs on Facebook and eBay. Wolf Custom Jigs. They made the Roadrunner first for Blakemore. They make a great bait. So there you go. Slow, eight to 12 foot structure. All right, now call me. I wanna hear a big fish story. And what do we always do? Go catch a fish.
Well, today, folks, we are going to try something a little bit different. We are going to make some uh, meatballs, some pork and venison meatballs for dinner tonight. And um, we've got our pork chopped up into small chunks, about like so, and our venison about the same. And we're going to use the old-fashioned universal meat grinder. So these things go back 100 years or better. They've been using these things for a long time. Today, they have the electric meat grinders, which are quick and easy. But you know what? just want to show you that you can use one of these and they work exceptionally well. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get our meat ground and um, I'm going to go ahead and add our venison in with our pork. We'll grind those together. So we'll mix it first and then we'll proceed to get this ground. Okay, here we go. So basically what we're going to do is just drop the meat in there and we're going to crank it. And what we've got is we've got our blade on here and snug it so it's nice and it's not too tight. You don't want this too tight because the tighter you get it, it's hard for this to turn. So you want to just a little bit loose just to where it turns smoothly. we got our blade in there, so we're just going to drop our meat in. And we're going to start turning this thing. And you're going to see the meat come out. Sometimes they say, you know, having something to push that down with helps. But, you know, at this point, we just use our fingers. Don't want to get them too far in there, but this will work pretty good. You'll see. See how the meat is coming out already ground? So we just want to keep cranking. We're just going to drop it in here as we crank it and as we grind it all up. Venison and pork. Looking pretty good. Nice and ground. See, that little grinder works pretty good. All right, that about wraps it up right there. That's about a pound and a half of ground venison and pork. We're gonna go make some meatballs. So again, the old fashioned universal grinder comes in handy. We got a little bit left over there. It's kind of stuck in there. There might be a little bit of fat. There's a piece of fat in there. And try to cut the fat out if you can, because it will get stuck in the teeth and make it a little more difficult to cut. So, but we've ground the majority of it and we're gonna go in and make some meatballs for dinner tonight. So there you have it. Grinding with the old fashioned grinder. It does work. Give this a try. Don't be afraid to pick one of these things up and uh, tell you what, there's not much to them, but they work. Well, we have our meatballs all seasoned up like my wife and I like them. And of course, you can season yours any way you like. And uh, then we roll them into, oh, maybe about golf ball size uh, meatballs and uh, get them ready to put them in the skillet. Again, folks, give these grinders a try. You'd be surprised. They will grind meat perfectly. Time to enjoy. Folks, this segment was brought to us by Gearhead Archery, Smoke Intex Electric Smokers, Snaplock Hunting Blinds, Y.O. Ranch Headquarters, Ultramatic Feeders, and Catfish Pro. Tune in next week for some more real-world outdoor adventures right here on A Sportsman's Life.